updates and upgrades in a vault connected workgroups environment. My name is Richard Rankin. I'm a senior product support specialist for data management and I work for Autodesk. Before we begin, I'd like to talk about the uh, some of the terminology I'm going to be using. Um, when I mention the word update, I'm talking about applying a hotfix or a service pack. Uh, an upgrade is a move from an older version of Vault to a newer one, for example, moving from Vault Professional 2016 to 2018. And when I use the word migrate, um, I'm referring to the uh, irreversible change that's made to the database schema um, when you go from one version to another. Before upgrading or uh, before you begin, um, the same basic rules apply. Ensure you have a restorable backup you know to be good. Um, it's important that you know that it's a good backup. Um, so make sure you go through the process of restoring it. Maybe not um, every time that you take a backup, but make sure that you go through the process of restoring it. Um, knowing is uh, is mandatory that it's um, it's mandatory that you know what you're doing and um, you know that when you restore the database you know it's going to be good. Um, hoping is not a good business strategy um, especially when you're working with other people's intellectual property. Uh, ensure you have identified the worst case scenarios and you have a contingency plan should one of those scenarios happen. Um, become familiar with the process and ensure you have migrated the database recently and you know what to expect. When I say this, I mean you know um, if there are going to be any error messages, you make sure that you have gone through the process of resolving those issues so that when you come to do it in a live production environment, you don't waste time um, or the time of your engineers trying to figure out what the solution might be. You have been through the process yourself. You know what problems you're going to face and you know how to overcome them. All subscribers must be synchronized with the publisher. All subscribers must be online. Um, we would create a backup, close all ADMSs. Um, if you have a number of Inventor Content Center libraries, um, consider deleting those um, before you start. Um, if you're replicating those databases, it might be a good idea to um, unreplicate them and remove them from your publisher in the first place. Um, this will speed up the entire process. Okay, so step one. Um, so here we see uh, one SQL publisher with one ADMS connected to it. There are multiple subscribers, each with at least one ADMS, and there might also possibly be AVFFs, AVFSs, but these are not represented here. These, uh, this graphic assumes that they are all um, ADMS servers. Um, ensure the ADMS console is not running on any server, so you'll have to log into each machine, um, check to make sure that the ADMS console is running. Um, what I would suggest you do is you go into Task Scheduler and check to make sure that the ADMS console is not running as another user. It's possible that somebody might be doing something on a uh, logged in as a different user. So if they are doing something as another user, then you need to stop that process and kill um, the ADMS console. Then you do an IIS reset on all of the ADMSs uh, and then install the update or upgrade on all of the ADMSs. Um, it's important to understand that this doesn't migrate the database. It just extracts the files from the installation media, copies them to the install directory and updates the registry if necessary. Uh, once the update is applied, um, on all of the servers on one ADMS connected to the publisher. Um, start the ADMS and that is going to start the migration process. 
Um, if the README of the update is telling you to run a B2B to migrate, then you, this is the machine that you need to do it from. Uh, once the migration is complete, restart the web service, restart IIS. Um, a new snapshot is automatically created for every database in the Knowledge Vault master. And once the new snapshot is created, the, the changes will be um, enumerated or replicated, synchronized to the subscribers. Um, sometimes if the network is really slow, it may be necessary um, to use the alternate snapshot method, um, which is documented in a different presentation. Um, the alternate snapshot method is a useful method to use um, when you have a slow network, uh, network connection and a large database to replicate. It can drastically reduce the amount of time before the subscriber is up and running. Uh, once the once migrated databases are re replicated to the subscribers, start the ADMS on each subscriber to make sure that you still can. Um, there should not be any error messages, um, but if the databases haven't been replicated over, then you won't be able to start the uh, ADMS console at all. And lastly, once once all of that is complete, then you can upgrade your clients. Thank you for your attention.